Welcome to rural Mid Wales. People often ask me, what's the biggest difference between Mid Wales and London? And it has to be prostitution. In London, you're always getting ladies saying, hello big boy, fancy a good time? But if somebody said that to me around here, I'd say, no thank you, Amanda. And don't forget it's a PTA meeting on Tuesday. One thing we get a lot of around these parts are Brummies moving here because they can sell their nice little two-bedroom house in Walsall and buy a great big four-bedroom detached house, loads of land and a chicken hutch and all that. And at first, they're delighted. They're looking out the window saying, Ah, oh, look, Mabel, you can't even see the neighbours. But then, 12 months of rural isolation have done their work and suddenly they're saying, I can't even see the neighbours. And the shotgun's in their mouth. <laughs> Now this is of course a great story of the local paper, because not only do they get this whole story of their head blown off and that, but also they get the advertising revenue from the house. Now, look around you. There's not a lot of crime around here. So the local paper's the talk-up stories it does have. And I swear to God, the week I moved here, there was a story on the front page of the paper saying, Man rude to PC. I'd literally moved here from London, you know, where policemen get shot and stabbed and all that, but here, a man being rude to a policeman was front page news. Now, you have to try and make your own entertainment with the local paper. And my favourite way is looking at the weddings, because the descriptions of the weddings are very useful. And the best bit are the colours of the wedding dress, because that tells you how many previous sexual partners the bride has had. Now, if it's a white dress, then, you know, it's one or two sexual partners. If it's an ivory dress, then she was a popular girl at university. And this carries on all the way up through burgundy through to purple. Believe me, if you turn round, you're standing there at the altar, and your wife is standing there, wearing a purple dress, then believe me, you're not the first. Or the last, I'm afraid. Am I alone in thinking that women make a bit too much fuss about being pregnant? Now, I accept that the birth, the birth looks tricky. Okay, fair enough, I accept that. But, I mean, is being pregnant really that difficult? I mean, if you know a pregnant person, they have, like, nine months of having doors open for them, cups of tea made for them, that sort of thing, and then the baby comes out, and it weighs, like, eight pounds. Eight pounds, that's half a stone. I put on a stone last Christmas. You don't see me expecting to have cups of tea made for me every two minutes. Now, do you? Come on. I've just become a druid, you know. The orgies are great, but you wouldn't believe the sacrifices you have to make for your kids.